Due to our choices, our diverse and incredible world is rapidly changing. Each of us will be affected by the changes that take place on our planet. As a scientist, I want to tell the tale of our changing world. But how? The planet won't become uninhabitable. Nor even if that were true, would it be the tale to tell. Instead, I want to tell you the tale of an icy land beyond the Southern Ocean and the women in science I met while I was there. I want to tell you that we care. Our ship departed this past December with 76 women in science on a voyage to Antarctica. We are the first of a 1,000 women strong global collaboration that Homeward Bound will equip to contribute to and influence decision-making and policy over the next 10 years. I met women from around the world. They colored my journey as we shared stories of our science and of ourselves. On the journey, we walked across a snowscape to peer into a crevasse. We slid down hills. We talked about our futures and the future of children, ones that were not our own. We went south and into the Weddell Sea, meeting penguins at each landing. On Paulet Island, we walked amidst thousands. I wanted to see penguins spring from the sea to the land. I wanted to have photos of that magical moment when a flightless bird appears to fly. In a warming world far from home, I did not feel at risk. Instead, as fog surrounded me and I listened to glacial ice crack, I found delight. I felt safe. I feel vulnerable here as I share my experience, my happiness, sadness, and my resolve. Here as I state that I'm a climate scientist and I am concerned about the impacts of climate change. We will need to find common ground with those who argue for economy over environment, self over others. We can share with them that as our world warms, it is places we may never go that will change the most. The atmosphere and the oceans connect us all. They tell us that what happens in Europe, Africa, or Antarctica will affect Americans. They tell us we must make choices together. We live on one Earth. It may be an image in an icy land of a penguin coming to shore or a friendship with someone of a different faith who lives on the other side of the world. These are what will help us to understand vulnerability, theirs and our own. As our earth changes, we should not wish for our own good fortune. Instead, we need to share in the concerns of others as if they were our own.